So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be taking a look at what the flex grow and flex shrink properties are in the Flexbox layout system and how you can work with them. Now see that by default Flexbox as we have seen does not really respect width a lot and this is actually a good thing because most of the times we do not really want to have these static values in place anyway because we have different users with different screens different screen sizes you know different widths and heights all that stuff so we want the ui to be adaptable and not a rigid fixed unmodifying ui so for that we need to let the browser handle the widths and heights and we tell the browser in a in a declarative way that what we want to do right just like you know just just like you tell a robot or you know some sort of i don't know whatever an application that what you want to be done what you want what is it that you want to be done you do not really go into the specifications yourself but you actually just tell the browser you actually tell the robot that hey i want a tea or i want a coffee and it brings it to you it does not really ask you that uh, what should be the temperature of the water what should be the container in which you boil the water and you know which tea you want well that's a good question but anyway you get the point so the thing is with flexbox what you can do is you can get rid of these attributes and let it control using a property called flex grow and flex shrink let's just go ahead and uh, give it a property of flex grow as one so right now what i'm really doing is i'm saying to every div inside this row that hey just go ahead and grow as much as you can now remember i'm saying this to every div right so i'm saying to div one hey grow as much as you can so div one grows to the full width right then i say the same thing to div two so div two says to div one hey man i am i have the same rules as you so just give me half of the space so div one shrinks to half uh, says well yeah okay let's just go ahead and do that then right so div one shrinks to half and div two gets the full space the half space then we have div three coming in and saying div one and div two hey what the hell guys i have the same rules give me some space and then again the same thing happens so it's over and over and over again until we hit all the divs right so when you give a flex crow of one to all all these divs that pretty much means that you want them all to occupy the same width right now consider this particular example where i have um you know give it, it a class name of no right something like this or maybe just maybe if i have given a class not even a class but a p tag like this and i can just go ahead and say that the p has a background color of red right just like that uh, not really red but blue because we have that background with us all right so once we see that you can see that if i write something like seven inside this we have this p tag right here which is just sticking outside right here so let's just give it this bad boy a uh, little bit of height as well so it can match the div's height and uh, let's just clear out the margin and padding from it and actually let's just go ahead and clear that from the div as well or okay we are getting ahead of ourselves now let's just give it a margin of two pixels right so you can see and oops just one little more change color of white so you can see we have a p right here just you know just barely surviving so what i want to do is i'm going to remove this flex row one here so you see, see that they all stick to their initial words just like you expected and now i'm going to give a flex row of one to only to this p so you see what happened there right this p uh the browser said hey p just go ahead and take as much width as you want so this p just went ahead and just you know fill the screen and compressed all these divs all these little divs right here the browser never told these divs right here to you know take much as much width as they want so they never did right similarly um you know if i just go ahead and write this as well 
So you see that now they are all the same width because just like how evenly the width the width gets distributed. Now you could have a similar command called flex shrink, which just basically says that hey p just shrink to as less width as you can, right? Now this might seem like a useless option to you, but um, it, it's kind of important when you are creating layouts which have a flex crow of, you know, if I have a flex crow of one here, and if I have a flex shrink of one here, it might not really look very useful because, you know, it, it is the default behavior anyway. But as you will see, as you're creating more complicated layouts, it becomes useful at the time you're working with complex situations with flexbox layout. So once we have um, this better understanding of flex crow and flex, flex shrink, how they work, I think it's time to move on to uh, some of the better things in CSS and advanced topics in CSS and creating all those good, good layouts as well using just HTML and CSS. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.